other developments as part of the National Educators Academy of the Philippines Transformation. With the launch of the Education Futures Program, where we will be focusing on innovative actions and solutions to improve the state of our education, we are now more than ready to start a new journey and continue our fight for quality education for all Filipino learners. Finally, we've given high importance to the engagement of stakeholders for support and collaboration. In support of this, we have convened the Philippine Forum for Accessible Quality Basic Education or the Education Forum, which leveraged other partnerships for education quality and strengthened partnership with the Philippine Normal University as the country's national center for teacher education. The department has also been developing a professional development program for teachers and school leaders in order to equip them with the skills, materials, and data that will allow them to help their students prepare for PISA 2022. This intervention consists of the following components. Online training for teachers and school leaders, development of learning materials and practice tests for students, deepening the analysis of the PISA 2018 results, and supporting school-level action research. Now that the year is about to end, our commitment to Sulong Edukalidad will continue and will be far from being gone. With a lot at stake, considering our new knowledge and experience from this year's challenges, we are equipped to face a new future. As we head on to the future where we will face many challenges and uncertainties, the department will always be the guardian of every Filipino learner's right to education. The Department of Education, through the Bureau of Human Resource and Organizational Development, Human Resource Development Division, welcomes all the teachers from all over the Philippines in this national orientation on the results-based performance management system, aligned with the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers in the New Normal, via Facebook Live, here at DEPED Philippines and other DEPED official accounts. Let's welcome your host, Ms. Bianca Pola Manas and Sir Angelo Uy. Hello, good afternoon mga kadep ed. Welcome to episode 3 of our RPMS school year 2020-2021. Ako po si Bianca, nagbabalik at ako ay mula po sa Human Resource Development Division ng BHROD. And for today, kasama ko po ulit si Sir Angelo Uy. Sir Angelo? Ayan, magandang magandang hapon, Miss Bianca. And again, I'm Sir Jello. No? Nakasama na ako na ating mga viewers since yesterday. And I'm from the Human Resource Development Division of the Bureau of Human Resource and Organizational Development. Magandang magandang hapon po sa lahat ng ating mga taga-subaybay ngayon sa ating last episode for uh, the RPMS orientation. Miss Bianca? Oh. Ang nga, Sir Jello, parang ang dami kong na-miss out yesterday. Ang daming kaganapan. <laughs> yeah, kami muna ni Sir Caloy kahapon. Ayan. Uh, at balita ko ay pagod na pagod siya at kotang-kota na siya dahil ang daming pinabasa sa kanya. Kaya ayun tuloy. Nag <laughs> Break muna siya for today. So ne next time na lang daw siya ulit na rakit. So pero na Sir Jello, napansin ko so far, ah, we are doing pretty well and very well. In terms of viewership, kasi sir, nakita ko nung binalikan ko yung Deped Philippines, ang ating episode 1 ay over 1 million views na and ang ating episode 2 pa 1 million na rin. So parang sir, 
Grabe, as in nakakagulat. Two days, three day event lang to. Pero so far, we are almost at two million views. Ayan, tama no, Miss Bianca. And we, ano, no, we appreciate and we extend our gratitude sa ating mga taga-subaybay sa buong Department of Education, sa ating mga kasamang guro, sa mga uh, school heads, no, division personnel, region, and central office personnel na nakasubaybay sa atin simula pa noong lunes, no, ating unang episode for this National RPMS Orientation. Actually, Miss Bianca, no, nakatingin ako ngayon sa comment box ng ating live stream sa DepEd Philippines. No? Marami tayong mga kasama from SDO Laguna, from Dip- Dipolog City Division, from Antipolo, uh, from Bacolod, ayan. and from Binyan City, syempre, Miss Bianca. <laughs> mawawala, ba, mawawala ba naman kami? Uh, ngayon po, as of 4 p.m. in the afternoon, we are 37,000 strong and we expect na tataas pa yan later, Sir Angelo. Tapos, yes. sir, napansin ko rin actually, so ngayon, dahil sim- pasimula pa lang tayo, no, puro good afternoon pa lang. But I also noticed na sa ating mga viewers, hindi lang sila bastang nanonood, very active din sila sa kanilang mga keyboard at nagtatype ng kanilang mga tanong, mga insight, mga reflection, kung ano-ano. Grabe talaga ang ating mga guru, sir. Yes, Miss Bianca. At ano nga, no, it goes to show na talagang ano, no, interesado ang ating mga kasamang nanonood ngayon. Pag pinag-uusapan na talaga ang Teacher's Performance Assessment, yan ang ating results-based performance management system sa para sa taong ano, no, panuruan 2020-2021. At ano nga, no, nakita, sabi mo nga kanina, marami tayong mga natanggap na mga katanungan kani, uh, kahapon no? and also uh, our first episode at yan po ay talagang ano indication na talagang nagre-reflect no ang ating mga kasamahan na nanonood sa atin at talagang marami silang nare-realize ngayong ano na to no ngayong panahon na ito ng pandemic and pagdating nga sa RPMS para sa taong ito. Yes, so dahil diyan mga guro at sa ating mga audience members pa nanonood, naisip namin sa VHROD na gusto pa namin kasi makakuha ng marami pang reflections on your end. So anong meron Miss Bianca? In view of the new normal. Again, after this orientation, how has your perspective in the RPMS changed in view of the new normal? Siyempre po, Sir Jello, pag meron tayong mga pa-reflection, meron din yung kaakibat na konting ano, something-something. Siyempre, <laughs> Miss Bianca. Tayo. Para magag- magagaling ba yan sa'yo? Ay, hindi. Marami <laughs> o baka sa akin. <laughs> oh, yeah, sige, sige. Ano, an- ano ba yung mga papremyo na yan pag nagsulat ng ating mga viewers na kanilang reflection o no, para sa katanungang ito? Ay, ito po pala. Bago pa, po pala tayo pumunta sa prize. So when you type your uh, reflection sa ating chat box, mga ma'am and sir, don't forget, isali po natin itong hashtag na ito na yes na yes sa RPMS. So, pag sinagot... niyo po itong tanong after your reflection don't forget itong hashtag natin kasi yan yung gagamitin ng ating mga documenters para matra ito Sige po, sa mga mananalos for uh, sa mga mapipili namin for the reflection today, ito po ang makukuha nyo. Ayan, napaka-pogi, napaka-bago. Siyempre, ang mga ma- ma- mananalo ay makukuha ng isang limited edition na HROD convention t-shirt. Sir, collector's item yan, alam nyo ba? <laughs> yeah, nga, very limited, no? Ilan ba yung, ilan ba papamigay natin para sa ating mga masugid na viewers ngayon sa Deped Philippines livestream natin? Sir, for today, we have 30, na t-shirts na pwedeng ip- ipamigay sa ating mga guro or ba sa audience members na makakapag-share ng kanilang mga insights and thoughts sa mga kaganapan these past three days. Ano yan, mga mom and sir, kayo mag-alala, kasha yan sa inyong lahat dahil XL po ang size na yan. Hindi Pero lang Miss halata. Bianca, oh, Miss Bianca, no, parang hindi halata sa picture na XL yung size. Parang ano siya, expectations versus reality. <laughs> hindi na lang na-enlarge. Ano yan, slim fit. Kasha yan. <laughs> Sige, so, mukhang kasha sa akin yan. 
Oh, kasha kasha yan sa yan, sir. So mga ma'am and sir, throughout the day, um, we will um keep track, our documentation team will keep track of your entries. And then they will assist as a pagpili ng best reflection. So again, ulitin ko lang po ang mechanics. Balik tayo dito. Ayan. For our reflection, after the nating premyo. Ayan. Sir Angelo. Yes, Miss Bianca. Ayun. So, ibalik ko lang, no, dahil feeling ko na-excite na yung mga tao sa ating pa-reflection. Ibalik muna natin ang ating mga, ang ating focus sa mga kaganapan yesterday. Sir, napansin ko um, during episode 2, parang ang daming engagement nga. So, not just mga positive feedback uh, of support, but also maraming katanungan na ating mga kaguruan tungkol sa phase 2. Tama ba? Yeah, kaya ngayong ano no last episode natin o no, episode 3 ng ating ano three episode activity na pinag-usapan kahapon at ano pa yung mga katanungan dapat nating linawin ngayong episode 3. Sige. natin kahapon ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong hapon. Pero bago 'yan, so balikan muna natin ulit no yung kumpletong view natin ng RPMS cycle. And again, ito yung ating adjusted RPMS cycle timeline only for school year 2020-2021. So maliwanag po ha etong adjusted timeline na ito. So, pero yung mga activities, forms, lahat yan ay galing pa sa mga previous school years natin at magtutuloy yan. Pero yung timeline no, ay na nakikita natin ngayon sa screen natin ay applicable only for school year 2020-2021. Ayan. So, napag-usapan natin ng episode 1, nung lunes, ang phase 1, which is performance planning and commitment. At kahapon nga, ang, perform ang phase 2, performance monitoring and coaching. At mayamayang kaunti, Tatapusin natin no, yung cycle, yung apat na phases ng cycle na ito, ang phase 3 at ang phase 4. So, pero ano ba yung mga pinag-usapan natin kahapon? Ayan. So, ang phase 2 natin, ang performance monitoring and coaching ay nangyayari again year-round. So, kasi ang ating mga observers and raters no, ay nagmo-monitor at nagme-mentor, nagko-coach ng ating mga ratees. At nangyayari yan sa buong taon. And meron tayong checkpoint na no, Miss Bianca na uh, March 20 uh, I, uh, I believe March 2021 'yan dapat. Uh, yan ang ating checkpoint no para sa phase 2 which is the mid-year review. So diyan sa sa puntong 'yan sa uh, sa buwan na 'yan ay talagang ano na i-check natin kung ano yung nagiging progress na ng bawat isang teacher sa pag-accomplish na at sa pag-implement ng RPMS uh, for school year 2020-2021. So yan ang ating RPM, uh, phase of the RPMS cycle. At ano nga ba yung mga pinag-usapan natin, no, Miss Bianca, na mga activities sa under phase 2? So una ay performance monitoring and coaching at yung mid-year review and assessment niya na ginagawa pag March 2021 for this school year. Uh, again, school year 2020-2021. Ayan. So ano ba yung mga forms? So may activities tayo year-round na monitoring and coaching, tapos may checkpoint tayo sa mid-year ng March 2021. So ang mga forms natin na ginagamit sa puntong ito no, ng cycle ay una, RPMS tools kasi nandyan ang mga objectives, nandyan ang MOVs, nandyan ang performance indicators. So kaya talagang kailangan ay mabasa natin yan at ma, ano, no, maintindihan natin ang laman ng RPMS tools at nakikita na ano naman ano nakita natin during the past two episodes ang link kung saan natin ito pwedeng ma-access coaching form at paano ito nakakatulong sa parte ng rater at sa parte din ng rate and also since may checkpoint tayo na mid-year review so meron tayong form na gagamitin diyan which is the mid-year review form and then uh,
output natin after this phase ay yung agreements natin based on the performance monitoring and coaching form, the accomplished media review form, the updated IPCRF development plan, and also... Ayan, Ms. Bianca, ano pa bang ilan sa ating mga kailangan i-reiterate no, sa, sa puntong ito ng ating recap ng episode kahapon? Uh, pinapakita po namin ito sa ating mga viewers da, para mas maintindihan po natin no, na meron tayong dalawang RPMS tools or Teacher Performance Assessment Instruments. Una, para sa mga teachers na gagamit ng proficient tool at yung pangalawa ay sa mga teachers na gagamit ng highly proficient tool. At alam niyo po ang pagkakaiba, no? una sa color coding pa lang, uh, ang ating green colored tools ay para sa mga teachers na gagamit ng proficient tool at ang ating blue colored tools ay para sa mga gagamit ng highly proficient tool natin. And Ms. Bianca, no? at ipakita natin kung ano dapat ang kanilang uh, kailangan hanapin sa RPMS tools. So pinapakita namin ito ngayon para ano po, no? kasi uh, we had two school years, school year 1819 saka 1920 na tayo ay meron ng RPMS aligned to the Philippine Professional Standards for, for Teachers. So ngayon po, no, pag meron kayong mga gamit na materials, hawak na materials, kailangan po ang hanapin ninyo ay itong version na ito ng RPMS tool. So pakihanap lang po ng ating mga ratees at ating mga raters ang version na may nakalagay na RPMS tool in the time of COVID-19. So para po tayo, ano, no, hindi tayo uh, maligaw sa tools na ating gagamitin. Hanapin po natin ang ano na yan, ang indications na yan No, na RPMS tool in the time of COVID-19. And that will also be applicable na sa ating no, yung mga uh, uh, 11 RPMS objectives for school year 2020-2021. At dito nga no, na, na test ang pagbabasa ng circuit kahapon. At kaya hindi siya nakasama sa atin ngayon kasi magpapahinga muna siya. At sasama siya sa mga susunod nating mga engagements. So, uh, pero ayan, nakikita natin dyan sa slide na yan, uh, RPMS objectives para sa school year 2020-2021. Nakikita ulit natin na naka-highlight ang objective number 7. So, aside from 1, uh, 3, and then we have objective number 7, ito ay ulit no, isa sa mga familiar na indicators para sa atin or objectives para sa atin kasi yan po ay nakita na natin sa mga nakaraang school year. So, meron tayong tatlo. Out of the next 11 RPMS objectives for school year 2020-2021 na familiar sa atin. Now, aside from those three, sige, Ms. Bianca, pakita natin, no? Then sa next 11 objectives na yan, meron tayong objective number five. Pakita natin, Ms. Bianca, yung objective number five ulit. Ayan. So aside dun sa mga familiar, yung one, three, and seven, meron tayong objective number five. But this is not ano, no, an indicator na nakita na natin in the previous years. Itong objective na ito ay especially selected for this school year as learners and the people across the globe. The globe in general have been affected by the COVID. COVID-19 pandemic. And this way, you know, the way teachers adjust and modify the teaching and learning. Ating, ano, no, i-clarify sa ating mga manonood ngayon na again, meron tayong tatlong ano, no, tatlong objectives na isa subject sa class classroom observation. And again, those are objectives 1, 5, and 7. Pero, okay, so tingnan natin na yung mapping na, na ito para
listahan ng RPMS objectives, ay yan, I see Sir Kaloy kahapon. So meron tayo objective number 8, 9, 10, at 11. Okay, so una nating ano, tanong. Nakita mo ito, no, Miss Bianca, no, na una. Will SPED, yes, Madrasa, and ALS, salamat Miss Bianca, will SPED, Madrasa, ALS, T1 to T3, T3 use the same RPMS tool as regular teachers? So ano ang sagot natin dyan? Gagamit ba ng parehong tool ang ating mga SPED teachers, Madrasa teachers, at ALS teachers, katulad ng ating mga nasa ano, no, formal schooling? So ang sagot natin ay yes. Uh, thanks to the PPST or the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, the RPMS tools are generic enough to be used by all teachers across learning areas and grade levels. So meaning kahit na ikaw ay SPED teacher, madrasa teacher, ALS teacher, uh, yan ay, ang mga RPMS tools natin ay applicable para sa inyo. Kasi ito ay ginawa as generic, no? Gen very generic enough to capture the, uh, no, no, the, the, uh, all the teachers in the lear different learning areas and in the different grade levels. At nakikita din natin ngayon sa screen natin na uh, ang iba't ibang ano, no, mga specific na teaching positions na gagamit ng anong tool. So ang una natin ay yung RPMS tool for the proficient teachers so we have uh, teachers 1 to 3. We also have special education teachers 1 to 4. Instructors 1 to 2 for, ano, no, for the tech box schools. And then special science teachers 1 to 2. So, yan na mga, so nakita natin no, yung mga specific teaching positions na gagamit ng proficient tool. Again, T1 to T3, SPED teacher 1 to 4, instructor 1 to 2, at special science teacher 1 to 2. Now for the highly proficient Tools, no? Sino mga gagamit nito? So we have Master Teachers 1 to 4, Special Education Teacher 5, at Special Science Teacher 3 to 4. At makikita niyo, niyo yung mga positions na yan, una pa lamang sa Electronic Self-Assessment Tool. So kung na-explore niyo na yung ESAT, makikita niyo na mag, nagpapalit yung, ano, no, yung tool depende sa teaching position. So ito yung listahan natin ng mga specific teaching positions na gagamit ng specific na RPMS tool. So let's go to the set no observe si teacher anong mode nga ba. Sige, pakita natin 'yan. So the alternative classroom observations shall depend on the learning modality that you as a teacher or your school adopts. So again, ano no modes ito. Uh, uh, maybe ano no ginamit natin yung term na options. Uh, pero again, the options are tailored fit to a specific modality. At meron guidelines tayo na pinakita kahapon kung kailan dapat na online observation, kailan dapat na ang classroom observation ay observation of a video lesson or observation of a demo teaching via the learning action cell. So pa kailan nga ba? So yung online observation ay para sa mga merong online synchronous classes. So regardless of the number of classes or the number of learners. Basta meron kang teaching load na, ano, na meron kayong online synchronous class, then automatically your ano, no, classroom observation mode would be the online observation. Now, kailan ka, ano, no, kailan ka pwede na observation of a video lesson? So that will only be used when option one is not possible. So, Ang ano natin kasi no parang naka-arrange to in this order para din ano no kasi kung napansin niyo nga at na, alam ko na banggit ito kahapon ng online observation yan ang closest no to the face to face uh, classes so kaya kung meron kang online synchronous then go to online observation now kung observation kung hindi possible sa yung option 1 then you go to option number 2 which is observation of a video lesson and these are four teachers who adopted the online asynchronous learning. Okay, so kung, pero kung hindi pa rin applicable sa'yo ang 1 at ang 2, punta ka ngayon sa 3. And uh, this is observation of a demo teaching by a lap, and this will be used when options 1 and 2 are not possible. Now, this is ano, no, parang tailored fit then on, in that sense, that these are for teachers who, are, who adopted pure modular learning, radio-based instruction, and the TV-based instruction. So ayan ang ating mga options no, or modes of alternative classroom observation. So ngayon pakita natin no yung mga protocols natin at tingin ko hindi ito na ano no uh, 
uh, na, na pag-usapan natin ito pero mas maganda na makita ng ating mga viewers ang diagram ng ating um, classroom observation process and protocols. So magsimula tayo sa unang option or unang mode which is the online observation. So ayan, pakita natin lahat ng mga uh, steps. So sa online observation which is the first option or the first mode, ganito siya mangyayari. So makikita nyo din po ito sa ating memo na ano no ng ating guidelines for the RPMS for school year 2020-2021. At makikita natin dito na for online observation, kinakailangan pa rin no na mag-submit or mag-prepare ng lesson plan and instructional materials kasi bilang guro talaga na mang pag ano no pag magtuturo tayo kailangan natin mag-prepare. So and pero take note that kahit na kayo ay nag-prepare, no, kasi yun naman talaga ay ano natin, duty as a teacher ng lesson plan and instructional materials for the classroom, for the objectives which are subjected to classroom observation. Again, objectives 1, 5, and 7. Yan ay, ano po, no, yan ay hindi na kailangang ipasa or isubmit as, a, as part of your MOBs. Ang kailangan nyo lang, based from yesterday's discussion, ay ang ating COT rating sheet or inter-observer agreement form para sa proficient at highly proficient teachers or teachers using the proficient and the highly proficient tool at may dagdag lang na proof of attendance of colleagues para sa ating mga teachers na gumagamit ng highly proficient tool. Ayan. So yan ang protocol para sa online observation. So pakita naman natin ngayon ang observation of a video lesson. So ito ang protocol, halos similar no to the first diagram para sa unang mode or unang option. Pero dito ngayon ay wala ng online synchronous, no? Wala walang ano no pag pagkikita virtually ang teacher at ang mga mga learners natin. So dito kailangan si teacher ay mag ano no mag-record ng kanyang sarili habang nagtuturo ng lesson. So ang tanong kahapon, gaano ba kahaba ang video lesson or ang ang Uh, na kailangan i-prepare ni teacher para ipasa or i-submit no para sa classroom observation. Uh, ito ay ano no uh, sinabi sa guidelines para sa mode number 2 or option number 2 na uh, kailangan i-record ang ating sarili nagtuturo tayo. So meaning kung kung gaano talaga katagal yung intended lesson duration. So yun po yung ating gawin for the video lesson. So kung tingin po natin ay kailangan no buo siyang ano no kung gaano man kahaba yung class time niyo then do that. But maybe uh, shorter than that, no? Because it's said in the guidelines that this can. Ah, afterwards, so that's what we're going to do. 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 So that's what we're pero ngayon, ang magiging kaharap natin ay mga kasamahan nating mga guro. So it can be done, uh, ating learning action cell sessions can be done uh, virtually or face-to-face. -face. Again, sinabi natin kahapon na depending on the IATF rules and regulations and the internal policies in your respective areas. So kung nasan man kayo ngayon, ano ba yung mga guidelines natin ng IATF or ng division office? So mag kailangan lang mag-schedule dito ng lock session para ano no intended talaga para sa demonstration teaching. At pwede tayong magkaroon ng 5 to 15 teachers as members of the LACs uh, based yan sa Deputy Order number 35 series of 2016. At um, again ang mga teachers ang magiging mga bata para sa ano na to sa op option na ito or para sa mode na ito. So again na ito pong pinapakita natin na diagram ay makikita natin sa mga materials na nasa link natin for RPMS 2020-2021. So ayan Are school heads allowed to observe their teachers more than two times? So, anong sagot natin dyan? Pwede ba na mag-observe ng, ng more than two times? So, ang sagot natin ay yes. But only, so may ano tayo, no? may disclaimer tayo. But only those two observations that the ratee and the school head or the observer, kung master teacher man yan or head teacher, agreed to ask official observations 
will be part of the ratings or the portfolio. So, pwedeng more than two times, but kung ano yung pinag-agrihan ni Rati at saka ni Rater or Observer, yan lamang ang magiging part ng ating teacher rating or teacher portfolio. So sana po maliwanag yan sa ating mga kasaman na nanonood ng ngayon sa atin via DepEd Philippines. Now the fourth one na ating kailangang sagutin ay how many MO OBs or means of verification present or it provides sa ating portfolio. So ang ating sagot ay the number of a highly proficient tool to know what and how many MOBs are required for objective. At saka malalaman nyo din po doon, paano nga ba ako kay ano, no, uh, paano ako makakuha ng rating na 5 sa RPMS for quality, for example, or for efficiency or for timeliness. So, kailangan, no, ang una nating tingnan, sagot na ang mga katanungan sa isipan pa ng ating mga viewers hanggang ngayon. At para, ano na, clear na, no, wala nang masyadong gray areas uh, para, maka, ano, no, para mas maayos yung ating transition to the last two phases of the RPMS cycle. So for question number five, are we allowed to present or provide MOVs obtained from October to December 2020? So anong sagot natin? So ang sagot natin ay para sa specific na ano, no, RPMS objectives 1, 5, and 7. These are the objectives that will be subjected to a classroom observation. So the MOVs related to classroom observation should be obtained between January and May 2021. So... Kahit na meron po tayong mga naganap no, na classroom observation during October to December of 2020, yan po ay hindi na natin magagamit para sa ating RPMS for school year 2020-2021. And I know majority no, or if not of all of our teachers will understand na hindi ano no hindi lahat ng indicators yung tatlo no uh, as much no na ma-prepare gawa natin October to December, which is the first quarter of the school year, pwede natin niyang ma-provide the MOV, but only for the objectives um, ano no, objectives dun sa 12 natin Sige, anong sagot natin dyan? At ano, no, sana maliwanag. Ito no, sa ating mga viewers ngayong hapon. So ang sagot natin ay no. Pag nai-provide mo na ito, yung involvement in some webinars or as module writer, pwede mo yung ano, no, ilagay sa objective number 12. Pero for example, uh, actually no, may mga supplementary materials tayong ginagamit for objective 1 to 11 at wala din naman yan dun sa listahan natin for objective number 12. So ang, ang ating general principle lang, pag nagamit mo ng MOV sa so objectives 1 to 11, hindi mo na siya pwedeng gamitin. That same MOV ay hindi mo na siya pwedeng
number 12. Wala tayong nakalistang SLM doon. So, Uh, magkaibang MOV yung SLM sa kayong certificate of your involvement as in objectives 2 to 4 are those that were used during classroom observation. A related question to that is what if um, di ba may supplementary material tayo for objective 2 to 4? Okay? So objective number 2 to 4 meron tayong supplementary material. Pero um, di, ba, di ba for example we have SLM or lesson plan or video lesson Yun bang ginamit natin na lesson plan, for example, as an MOB's objective number two, pwede natin siyang gamitin kay three, pwede din ba natin siyang gamitin kay four. So ang sagot natin dyan ay pwede. So for example, a one lesson plan or one video lesson ay pwede natin i-provide sa objective number two, number three, at number four, four as long as, so maliwanag ito, for as long as you are sure that the MOV that you are providing for objective 2, 3, and 4 is or are targeting that those particular objectives. So kunwari, objective number 2, yung positive use of ICT. Yung 3 ay tungkol sa uh, critical and creative thinking. So yung mga yun, dapat kung, gag kung gagamit ka na isang MOV, pwede mo yung gamitin in objective 2, 3, at 4 Pero make sure that those or that MOV ay uh, not in a target or are targeting that particular object, those particular objectives. Okay, so uh, I think Ms. Bianca na present natin ang ating mga nakuhang mga questions from yesterday at sana maliwanag na po ito no, sa ating mga kasamahang mga guro na nanonood sa atin ngayon. Yes. Jello, thank you. Parang Yes, no, as we proceed to the last two phases of the RPMSI. Yes, correct answer, Jello. But before, before we proceed po sa ating uh, contest na sinabi kanina, so, so sa mga bagong um, pasok sa aming live stream, pakisagot po ang tanong na ito and itype ang inyong sagot sa ating chat box. After this orientation, how has your perspective in the RPMS changed in view of the new normal? Ulitin ko po, ah. After this orientation, how has your perspective in the RPMS changed in view of the new normal? So ayan po ang ating um, question for the day. Ang, makaka, ang aming documentation team sa HRDB ay binabantayan ang aming comment section para piliin ang may pinakamagandang reflection. And mga ma'am and sir, don't forget that as, as soon as you type in your answer, don't forget to use our hashtag na yes na yes sa RPMS. And also, don't forget to also include Welcome back to the DepEd Philippines Facebook page. I am Teacher Ads and I will be your guide in understanding the RPMS PPSD. Hello po sa aking mga kasamahang guro na tagapagtaguyod ng susunod na henerasyon ng bansa, <laughs> lalo na sa mga kasamahan kong guro sa City of Stars, Division of Quezon City, sa aming SDS, Dr. Janeline Roseby Corpus, at sa aking mga kasamahang guro sa San Antonio Elementary School, lalong-lalong na sa aming school head, Mr. Antonio P. Miranda. Hello po. Good afternoon. Sir Lester? Yes, uh, a wonderful Wednesday to our dear, passionate DepEd educators all over the Philippines sa buong Kapuloan. 
Sa ikatlong pagkakataon, ito po si Teacher Lester, Lester John Cahes. Sabay-sabay po tayo. Together, let's shine and make others shine too. Let's do it mga kaguro. Magandang hapon po sa lahat. Ayun, thank you. I'm pretty sure na memorize na yan ng ating mga viewers, ma'am and <laughs> At balita ko, since na simulan nyo na, no, ang isa din sa mga na take away kung mga na 21 ask ko lang po kayo, no, ma'am and sir, kamusta po ang, exper- ang experience so far? Mag- sir, yes. sir, kapag, kapag, sige, ko pala, kapag, teacher. At, <laughs> kapag habas sumagot kami, may t-shirt din kami. O oh, naman! Magawasan <laughs> yes, yun, sir. Natin, dapat maganda yung sagot. <laughs> sige, ma'am. Kamusta Tama ang po kayo. experience? Tama po kayo, Ma'am Bianks. Ang um, dami pong nagpapa-shout out. Kaya iniisip ko, wag na tayong tumuli sa Phase 3 eh, tsaka sa Phase 4. Mag-shout out na yun. <laughs> Totoo, kung pwede lang talaga. <laughs> Debi, relax. Pero ano po, seryoso, nakakatuwa yung, ano, yung experience na ito. Kasi uh, pinanood ko yung, ano, yung recorded episode 2 natin kahapon. Maraming kaguruan sa Pilipinas na nagpapasalamat dahil napakaliwanag daw. At nung nanood ako kahapon, sobrang liwanag nga talaga. Pati ng mukha ko. Wala ba lang magsabi, Ma'am Bianks? Na mukha na pala akong multo sa screen. Hindi ka na-inform. Magbawas ng ilaw. Kaya pala silaw na silaw ako. Pero nakakatuwa yung, ano, yung response kasi... Ano, meron mang mangilan-ngilan na questions, pero sigurado sa haba ng diniskas kanina ni Sir Jello, eh nasagot naman yun kanina. So thank you very much Sir Jello para sa pagka-clarify ng mga bagay na yan. Yes, thank you sir. Ayun. Teacher ads, pahingi naman ng konting ilaw mo. Normal <laughs> din sa City of Stars. <laughs> Parang gusto ko rin manghingi Manic sa Lester. Oo, pahingi naman ng konti. Eh. <laughs> Ako po ay napatawag ng management kahapon dahil sa haba ng aking shoutout. <laughs> yeah, joke lang. <laughs> joke lang po. Mabait ang ating mga ano, mga director. <laughs> so, uh, ako naman po no, in terms of uh, the feedback, marami tayong nakuhang tanong, no, mga uh, uh, reflection in terms of ako personally, marami akong nakita on classroom manage, uh, classroom observation rather. Na so nakakatuwa na isa ito din sa mga pinagbibigyang binibigyang pansin o binibigyang toon ng ating mga guro kung paano talaga magagamit yung uh, mga comp- yung mga objectives na ito sa loob ng classroom o kung hindi man uh, during the online observations or using the other alternatives. So maganda yung nagiging focus but of course uh, we also consider the other objectives uh, just the same. Isa pa, no, yung uh, paggamit ng PMCF, feeling ko isa na to sa mga favorite ko at favorite ng marami. No? Uh, taas nga kamay, lahat ng mga favorite din ng PMCF na no, starting yesterday. O oh, yun, may mga kasama ako. Feeling ko we started to appreciate it even more and eventually uh, ini-expect ko no, that uh, we would eventually leverage the use of PMCF no, bilang parte ng pagbibigay tulong sa mga kapwa natin you know what, uh, Teacher Adger Jello and Miss Bianca, tuwing, uh, nabibigyan kasi tayo na pagkakataong makasama sa mga regional and national training on RPMS. Uh, during those times, nakakatuwa na makakuha ng positive feedback from the uh, regional and division trainers. Pero iba pala talaga yung feeling kapag yung mismong teachers na yung nagsasabi sa'yo no, na nauunawaan nila talaga and uh, they really appreciate yung mga examples na binibigay natin. So all positive comments which lead me to the uh, conclusion na maaring dahil third year na ito, no? I mean, uh, we've been doing this for quite some time, yung RPMS, PPSD. Marahil mas lumalawak yung awareness and you know, this awareness posters acceptance eventually. So talaga namang nakakatuwa. Ayun, thank you Sir Lester, teacher ads. Sir Angelo, what do you think? Proceed na kaya tayo sa phase 3 and 4? Kakayanin ba natin this afternoon? 
Yes, tingin ko ay ano, very excited na rin natin mga viewers no katulad ng sinabi nga ni Teacher Lester at ni Teacher Ads, talagang marami tayong natutunan from yesterday's episode. At ano nga no, parang inulit ko yung buong episode kanina. Sa <laughs> mga sagot na ating mga frequently asked question. Third phase of the- RPMS cycle. At again, ano no, yan ay mangyayari sa ano third week of June 2020. So tingnan natin. So we have uh, these activities, no, year end review and assessment, evaluation of portfolio and computation of final rating. So iba after phase 2 na year round, may mid-year rev- uh, year round the mentoring and uh, monitoring and coaching, meron din tayong mid-year review. So pagdating ng phase 3 ay dyan na magkakaroon ng year-end review and assessment. So after the entire cycle of the RPMS, pa- ano nga bang naging performance natin? So tayo ay ngayon susukatin at the year-end review and assessment. And then again, uh, siguro you know, para din sa ating mga viewers ngayon, kailangan no, nababanggit na natin simula pa nung episode number 1 natin na kailangan na natin mag-prepare na ang portfolio with our MOB. So, uh, una pala lamang sa media review. Uh, tapos ngayon sa face number ay kailangan natin nabuo na yung ating kasama pa rin ang ating RPMS tools na pinaka-importante dahil nandyan ang objectives nandyan to, ano, to accomplish no, or to have the signed portfolio and the IPCRF with computed final rating so lahat po nang yan yung activities na yan, forms and outputs will be for phase number 3 the performance review and evaluation Sige, pakita naman natin ngayon, nakikita natin sa screen ang matrix ng Rate, Rater, and Approving Authority in the Results-Based Performance Management System. So ano lang, no, um, kailangan natin din itong uh, pagtuunan ng pansin kasi meron tayong mga nakuha. ang tanong simula kahapon si um, sino nga bang ang dapat ni narrator or observer sino dapat approving authority for a teacher for the house implementer so nakuha natin yung mga tanong na yan din kahapon for the school head so we are ano no saying that it can be the full fledged principal or or the school head designated to your school so meaning designated by the school's division superintendent sa kanya binigay no ang designation na yon at ang confidence to lead the school or to lead and manage the school so meaning regardless of the no no the, the item or the position title of the teacher but he or she is designated as a school head so she siya na yung magpa-function as the principal or the school head, being the rater or observer of a head teacher or a master teacher. Now, the proving authority is dependent no on the size of the division. So, the superintendent for small and medium divisions at assistant superintendent naman po natin for large and very large divisions. Assistant principal in your school. Then the first row for teacher is applicable to you. So ang iyong rater observer will be your principal or your school head 
and the approving authority is either the SDS or the ASDS, depending on the size of the division. Now, what if meron naman na master teacher, head teacher, or assistant principal in your school, and you're a teacher... then the master teacher or the head teacher or the assistant principal as implementer, uh, your rater or observer will be the master teacher program specialist for us, and your approving authority is the chief of the curriculum implementation order because there are also key reforms no, in, the, in the department. Like, for example, the rationalization plan, meron na tayo mga bagong positions ngayon. So that This is one way no, to transition to that, ano, to that particular revision. So, yan po ang ating uh, rate year rate. PMS 2020-2021. Yan po ay nabasa na no, natin kanina at ni Sir Kalu. 3, 4, 5, at 6 para sa mga teachers na gagamit or gumagamit ng proficient tool. Yan po ay may... Eight percent each na weight distribution, and meanwhile for three, four, five, six, also seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Those, uh, no, no, those objectives will carry an 8 per four, which ano, makikita natin mayamayang kaunti. So, pero bago tayo pumunta doon, no, uh, Miss Bianca, uh, kailangan muna natin sigurong tanungin ang ating mga teacher guests. Uh, ito bang phase rin na ito ay paano nangyayari sa ating school context? So, pakinggan mo. Tama ba yung mga pinagsasabi ko, Teacher Ads? Thank you, Sir Jello. Ah. Pangalawang t-shirt na to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, ano, Sir Jello kasi minsan kami mga teachers na sinasabi namin nahihirapan kami sa pag-ayos ng portfolio no, sa bandang dulo ng taon. Um, Nung first time na nag-release ako ng video sa YouTube, March po iyon. At hindi pa tapos ang school year. Kaya nagsabi sila na how to be you po, teacher ads. <laughs> kasi naayos na before pa March. Kasi posible po talaga iyon. Habang tumatakbo ang school year, pwede na po talaga tayong makaipon pa unti-unti ng mga documents natin by studying the MOVs in the RPMS tools. Kung ano yung gagamitin natin, kailangan uh, aralin talaga natin yun para sigurado tayo na makukuha na natin yung ating year ends para marami na tayong hawak. Uh, sana po ano hindi natin hahayaan na matatambakan tayo 
para hindi na po tayo masasustress sa bandang dulo, uh, magsisimula po tayo ng taon na maganda at bapo at matatapos din tayo ng taon ng maganda at bapo pa rin at hindi agad. Sabi natin kanina na nangyayari na activities, forms at mga outputs ay talagang yun ang kailangan nating gawin for phase number three. And yun nga, ang ating tip, no? salamat din sa tip na yun para sa ating mga kasamang mga guro na wag na nating paabutin no, ang pagtatapos ng school year na ito bago pa tayo mag-organize ng ating mga means of verification para ilagay sa portfolio. So kailangan talaga ay as we ano no as we finish or as we produce that output alam natin na yan ilalagay natin sa MOB, itabi na natin agad, no? I-organize na natin agad. Ginagawa ko rin yung mga sinasabi ni Teacher Ads and I agree na uh, mahalaga as objectives, no? Uh, on, on the level of, of the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, at the same time, on the level of familiarization with the tools. Halimbawa na lang po dun sa ating, kung napansin nyo, no? May mga classroom observable indicate, indicators na hindi gagamitan ng COT. Pero hindi po tayo pinabayaan ng RPMS no? dahil makikita natin doon sa ating uh, tool na may mga explanations. No? Halimbawa na lang sinasabi doon uh, what it means to use uh, ICT positively. Halimbawa, no? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin kapag uh, gumamit ng cre- uh, 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 in- 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 pinofoster ni teacher yung creative and critical thinking uh, including HOTS? What does it mean to give feedback to learners? What is the appropriate feedback? What does it mean to give a timely feedback to learners? So, sa mga kapwa ko po, master teachers at sa iba pang mga raters, siguro sama-sama, no? Samahan niyo ako in, in my journey na talagang pag-aralan pa yung tool, no? Uh, namnamin yung tool. Kasi I'm sure ito po ay pinaghandaan talaga ng mga nagsulat na ng mga writers. Because eventually, Sir Jello, ito ay alam kong ginagawa na rin. naman no, ng mga kasamahan natin sa field. Ito rin kasi yung gagabay sa atin kung paano i-appreciate yung uh, alisin na natin, basagin na natin yung notion na kapag RPMS ibig sabihin bilangan ng MOB. sabihin ay siguro tayo bilang
operators no bilang observers we have our judgment no we, we evaluate based on our judgment pa nating uh, binibigay nating rating sa ating mga ratings no siguro marami pong magsasabi for the purpose of fairness no para fair para uh, may justice para gauging our performance using the RPM And then the commendation also. Pag talagang nagawa natin ito ng maayos at ma-improve natin yung ating mga mentees also. And uh, siguro yun yung, ano, no, yung message na gusto nating iparating sa ating mga master teachers and also to, to all our teachers to, to support one another para tayong lahat ay nag-improve, nag-develop. Okay? Sige, with that, uh, Ms. Bianca, no, pun, ano tayo? Uh, may, may, Ms. Bianca, meron ka masabi ba sa messages ni Teacher Ad sa kanit Teacher Lester uh, sa paggawa ng... Uh, No, no, phase three of this RPMS cycle. Sure, tagos. Wow. <laughs> And I think actually, <laughs> nung habang nagsishare nga sila nung kanilang mga ginagawa, binabantayan ko din yung comments natin. Kasi naalala ko, delayed nga pala tayo pag ganito, pag itong mga live stream na to, delayed ang ating mga comments. So actually, um, sa ating mga manonood ngayon, so aside po sa mga sharing ni Teacher Ads and Teacher Lester, we are also inviting you to share with us po We are now 88,000 and I'm sure marami may po pong teachers na makikinabang sa inyong mga tips, sa inyong mga insights. Um, lalo na for this phase 3, itong topic natin ngayon. Please share with us ano ba yung sa tingin nyo ay yung inyong mga best practices when it comes to phase 3. Sir Angelo, siguro sa akin, parang in a not Shell, no? Nung pinapakinggan ko si Teacher Ad and si Teacher Lester, parang ang pinaka-keep ating mga MOVs and making sure na tayo ay natatrack ang ating um, performance, e um, even checking kung ang ginagawa ba natin ay may quality. Is it efficient? Is it timely? So, very kahit magkaiba kami ng opisina na um, pinapasukan ni Teacher Ad and Teacher Lester, even to me po, very nakaka-relate ako sa ano sa kanilang mga pinagdadaanan and also na appreciate ko rin ang tips para ako din ay professionally mag-improve sa opisina. Ayun po Sir Angela. Ayun, salamat Miss Bianca. No, nasumagot ka rin ng aking katanungan. <laughs> so ngayon, <laughs> ngayon ay pupunta na tayo no sa huling phase ng ating RPMS cycle at mamaya-maya ang kaunti ay maririnig natin ulit sila. teacher ads sa teacher Lester kung ano nga ba ang mga tips nila para sa ating mga kasamahang guro Um, uh, no, so to our master teachers, ano ba yung mga tips and also paano nga ba ito ginagawa talaga sa school? Para ma-improve ma pa tayo katulad ng sinasabi nga nila teacher at saka si Sir Lester kanina. Ngayon naman, bago tayo ulit sumabak sa panibagong cycle ng RPMS, kailangan nating mag waste forward and development plan. Planning. Ano na nga ba ang ating uh, plano sa mga susunod na, na cycle pa ng RPMS? Ano ba yung PCRF development plan? So yan ay lahat ng ano, no, in a nutshell, yan ang mangyayari sa ating phase number four, which is performance rewarding and development planning. Okay, 
So tingnan natin no yung sample natin na uh, development plan diyan ano teach uh, Miss Bianca. So ang development plan natin no ay nagko-contain or ang included dito or makikita natin sa development plan. And na, again, ginagawa natin no during phase one after we accomplish the ESAT or the SAT. Tapos sa ano natin no sa phase two natin ay nagkakaroon sa media review ng na ano no in, tinitingnan natin kung yung mga objectives ba natin, yung interventions natin in the development plan in phase number one ay akma pa or meron ng kailangang i-revise ng kaunti. Tapos sa phase 4, ay meron na tayong uh, development plan before again moving on to the next cycle of RPMS. So ang nila teachers, ano nga ba yung mga strengths na ito. Ano nga ba yung mga competencies na na-meet at yung nag-exceed pa sa expectations. Meanwhile, for the development needs ay ito naman yung mga competencies which RATI rarely demonstrates and areas where the RATI has room for improvement and has not met the expectation. So we are ano no? balancing no yung strength ano nga ba yung mga kalakasan ng isang teacher ng sa RPMS object modalities or learning and development modalities ayan so pinapakita natin ngayon sa screen ang sample no na template ng development plan nakita natin ito during phase 1 ng ating episode 1 at nakita din natin ito during episode 2 kahapon kasi nga merong nangyayaring initial na na development plan tapos 2021 at makikita niyo din sa template aside from the strengths and development needs meron tayong action plan ano na nga ba ang balakin no ng mga teachers sa pag paghon pa ng mga strengths at pag ano pag address ng mga development needs. So we have the learning of objectives and the intervention. Ano ba, attend ba ako ng training, attend ba ako ng mga webinars, nating resources. And pag na-accomplish natin itong development plan na ito, ito ay magandang ano, no, basis ng ating mga raters or observers, ating school heads, para bigyan pa tayo ng, or bigyan pa ang mga teachers no, ng, ng ano pa, further technical assistance, mentoring, monitoring, and coaching, among others. Yung mga pwede pang maibigay na ma-extend ng mga tulong pa ng ating. observers. Okay? Sige, bago tayo mag-proceed dyan, Ms. Bianca, experiences no, ng, uh, nila Teacher Ads and Teacher Lester pagdating sa phase na ito. Paano nga ba ito nagiging beneficial no, sa professional development mo, Teacher Ads, Teacher Lester? Reward. Kapag naisip yung reward, parang minsan ang naiisip lagi natin, TVB yan. Moneta monetary lagi. Pero Uh, hindi tayo doon magpo-focus kapag ito yung pinag-uusapan natin. Kasi um, mas gusto ko po sana kayong i-lead sa uh, pag-improve professionally. Doon naman yung pag-usapan natin. Kasi wala po akong magagawa sa PBB. <laughs> doon po tayo sa professional development kasi meron po tayong magagawa dito. Gamit itong mga tools natin dito.
dito sa ating RPMS, kagaya lang nitong development plans. So, mas nakikita ko na minsan kasi kapag nakasulat, kapag nakasulat... Uh, ang isa nga sa na-appreciate ko po sa DP no, ay uh, yung reflection. No, kasi uh, doon sa mga unang parts ng IPCRF, for example, ang nakikita natin ay bukod sa objectives ay mga numero. No, pero as we proceed with this part, no, with the part 4, dito tayo nakakakita nung uh, more on the qualitative aspect naman. No? And ito yung sinasabi ko pong kanina na as a result sana nung performance uh, rating, ay uh, nililid tayo toward professional development, kagaya ng sinabi ni Teacher Ads kanina. Uh, ako, oh, on a personal note, no, ang natutuwa ako dun sa mga, kasi tayo ay mga nakabasa ng mga, uh, ng mga DP mula doon sa nakaraang cycle, mula doon sa nakala, na, nakaraang isinabmit na ITCRF. Nakakatuwa. Nakabasa tayo ng mga entries na meron ng mga online, uh, attending online uh, seminars, for example, or webinars. Ibig kong sabihin, Uh, nakikita natin na hindi lang ito generic na tool. Kasi kung siguro kung uh, we will treat this uh, as some something generic lang, baka ang ilalagay lang natin dyan, attend the seminar. and our read books. Pero nakita natin yung effort, no? particularly nakita ko yung effort ng mga mentees ko. Entirety of the IPCRF. But really, uh, I'm looking forward, nagagawin talaga nila kung ano man yung isinulat nila. No? Ako din, pwede naman palang mag-focus ka muna sa isa, dalawa. No? And minsan kasi din, uh, kapag nag-focus ka, yung mga ano, no, tips, again, these are tips coming from those who really ano, no, practice yung itong mga RPMS cycle na to for teachers. And again, uh, very appreciative kami no, sa, sa team ni, uh, kami dalawa ni Miss Bianca sa inyo po sa inyong presence ngayon, Teacher Ads and Sir Lester, para sa itong mga inspiration at sa mga tips na ito na ibinibigay natin. Sa ating mga kasamahang guro na, na nanonood sa atin ngayon in the Deped Philippines live stream. Ayan, Miss Bianca, ready ka na ba sa iyong reflection din? Pati ako din pala, sir. Oo, Guess kasama ka din. <laughs> Guess ka na. Ako na ang host. <laughs> Ay, sige. Nakabalit yung tanong niyo, sir. Ano yung? Uh, for, ayos sa mga binanggit ni Teacher Ad sa kanis ni Sir Lester. Ano yung mga? So, yung the honesty behind it. Kasi na pala ako dito. Kasi yun nga eh, sobrang iba talaga pag um, written siya. Tapos yung na-mention pa nga ni Sir Le to give me feedback. So actually, nung ginawa ko na siya, I mean, eventually, after year after year nung ginagawa kong IPCRF ko, like, improve my myself para mag-professionally grow din ako. So, okay naman, sir. Yun lang. Okay. <laughs> to make it short, okay naman tong DP na. Salamat, Miss Bianca. At mamaya, bibigyan din kita ng t-shirt.
na limited edition dahil sa iyong ano So ngayon ay ano no uh, tingnan natin uh, and I appreciate, appreciate Ito sabi nga binubuo, no? sabi mo Miss Bianca. At ito na nga yung phase na parang binubuo mga results ng IPCRF natin pagdating sa phase 3 at phase 4. Ayan, tingnan. Ito ang mga ano, no, gamit ng mga results ng ating RPMS ratings. At ginagamit ito ng raters, ng, ng BHROD at ng NAYAP, ating National Educators Academy of the Philippines. Ang ating mga performance management teams in the schools, division, region, and the central office at ang ating praise committee. So, paano nga ba ito ginagamit ng raters? So, ang, ang raters, no, ginagamit ang results ng RPMS ratings in identifying and providing the kinds of interventions needed. So, ano nga bang pina ang kailangan ng isang guro? So, tailored fit nga, no, sabi nga ni Sir Lester kanina na ang mga interventions ay, nakatar ay targeted para sa bawat rating. So, yun ang nagiging, ano, no, gamit ng ating mga, nung numerical na RPMS ratings, pagka-transform niyan into something qualitative and to our, ano, ito yung sinasabi kanina ni Teacher Ads na tungkol sa PBB, monetary incentives. So, pero, kanina nag-focus ang ating mga teacher guests on on how no on how this the the phases in the RPMS cycle and the these ratings are used no for the benefit of the teacher So, yung pag-improve at pag-develop pa. Now, for the performance management team, natin ang RPMS ratings, in determining top performers of the agency, who will qualify for awards and incentives. So, ito yung mga gamit ng RPMS ratings natin after the entire RPMS cycle. Okay, so, ano ba yung mga tips natin no, for our school heads, HR, and the organization to further utilize our validated RPMS data. So let's start with the school level. So ano no, ang ngayon active at each position or subject area. Malasagot din ng katanungan na which of So nakikita natin no na maraming pwedeng mga katanungan na sagutin ang ating mga RPMS, ang ating RPMS ratings na nakukuha Uh, during the IPCRF data collection in the school level. So ngayon pumunta, pumunta naman tayo sa SDORO and the central office levels. Ano nga ba yung gamit nitong uh, RPMS ratings na ito at ano yung mga katanungang nasasagot nito? So una, which objectives should be considered as learning and development priorities based on the division pag sa SDO and the region-wide for the ROs, uh, consolidated data. And what interventions can be provided para mas matulungan pa nating mag-progress ano, in individually. 
ang ating mga teachers. Okay? Sige, tingnan pa natin ang... Ayan, so nakikita nyo... ngayon sa screen ninyo ang ano no parang connection between the RPMS data, the learning and development and the professional development the delivery. And then for the professional development, uh, meron tayong mga nabubuo na professional development activities and again the rewards and incentives. Ngayon, ang bagong pasok. Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 3 of RPMS School Year 2020-2021. Kaninang um, 4 po, as early as 4 o'clock, sinabihan po namin ang aming mga manonood na meron kaming pa-contest. Pero huwag kayong mag-alala kung hindi pa kayo nakakasubmit kasi open pa rin naman ang contest natin. So, we ask our audience to answer this reflection question. After this orientation, how has your perspective in the RP PMS changed in view of the new normal? Aglang hashtag na RPMS. Ay, yes na yes sa RPMS. And mga ma'am and sir, ito na po ang... copy dyan. Ako muna ang magbabasa for this uh, round. For now, Miss Bianca, ikaw muna, no? Tapos mamaya oh. ako naman dun sa last five. Sige po. So don't worry if you're an a uh, uh, kung yung mga babasahin ko po na reflection ay biglang nawala kayo sa aming live stream don't worry um we will contact you so our HRDD staff will contact you regarding your t-shirt so ngayon Sir Angelo ready na po ba teacher Lester teacher ads Para basahin yes. kong ating first five entries dito sa ating best reflection. Ayan, okay. from from Miss Lani Arcoires Bautista, JCPM Elementary School District 2, SDO Batangas City. Ayan, si Ma'am ang sabi niya, Hashtag yes na yes sa MS. Sabi niya, R for responsible teachers who P, perform duties very well. M, manage time for each learners. And S, salute to all Filipino teachers. Teachers. Ayan ang sabi ni Ms. Lainey Bautista ng SDO Batangas. Thank you, ma'am. Next naman po. From, ay, hindi niya po binigay yung ano buong pangalan niya. Initials lang. L. And Naz. Good afternoon po. Reflection. Honestly, I honesty 
precision, timeliness, and commitment, dedication, or indeed, indeed, nakasama natin yun, agree, agree sa mga sinasabi ng ating audience members. Next naman po, ang ating third, on the right track of achieving this goal. Wow, ang ganda ng sinabi ni Man. Do you agree, uh, Sir Lester and Teacher Ads, na kahit pandemya, walang makakapigil sa ating uh, mga guro? Ang ganda ng sinabi ni Man. Na- na-feel ko lang, ang ganda ng sinabi. <laughs> Ito pa, next, ang ating fourth... Um, Entry from Ms. Mylene Andal. After this orientation, my perspective provided is enough, more than enough, para sa kanya. So I think Sir Angelo and teacher as teacher Lester, that's a good sign that we are doing this activity. It already. The good thing is that it is more attainable and tools are available at had. Thank you, DepEd. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Kasi na, na-validate talaga yung pinagtrabahuan and na-appreciate din ng mga, I'm sure, ng, ng BHROD, ng DepEd, ng RCTQ, yung mga ginawa nilang tools and policies. Di ba po, Sir Angelo? Yes, what say you, mga ma'am and sir, sa, mga, sa first batch ng ating mga nag-reflection? Yung nga po naabot ang sinabi namin, we, um, yung mga pipiliin po namin for today ay 30 reflection and So don't worry kung hindi po namin kayo matatawag this afternoon because you will only call Instagram. Yan. Miss Bianca, katulad ng sinabi ko, no, uh, natapos natin ang four phases ng RP. Um, uh, ads and teacher Lester, familiar na po ba kayo sa ating mga RPMS, PPST, support material? Yes. Nakatunog na ba kayo? Nakakita na kami? Nakawakan nyo na ba yan? <laughs> yes na yes sa RPMS. Wow. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs> Isang t-shirt ulit. Apat na. <laughs> Hopefully ang ating mga audience members din ay, naka- ay familiar na. So in an, in kahit um, onti pa lang yung mga tools na alam nila. No? But um, this uh, next session po natin, we will show you po kung ano ba yung mga available support materials um, that we can provide you. Para ma, magawa po natin ng tama itong ating RPMS, especially for school year 2020 and 2021. Game na po ba? 
So to all our audience members, we are now at the final part of our presentation. So kanina pinag-usapan professional development and it is through these um, support materials that we contribute to this commitment. So ayun po mga ladies and gentlemen, ang commitment po lang naman namin ay kayo, kayong aming mga guro, kayong aming mga personnel sa department. And then specifically through the PPSP support materials, you, our teachers, will be able to identify what you need to know and what you will be able to do as your as proficient teacher. So yan yung talagang gusto namin mangyari um, with the, these support materials once we give them to you, once we provide them with, uh, once we provide you with all the, the digital or hard copy resources. Ang goal naman po talaga ay ma-improve namin ang inyong practice. So ano po ba yung mga klase ng PPSP support materials that we have? We have two kinds. Ito ang print or ang non-print. When we say print po, ito po ang ating 24 PPSP modules that are aligned to the proficient career stage indicators. Yes, you heard that correct. 24 po ang ating modules. Okay. Yung mag -alala, hindi siya makapal, very um, easy to carry, easy to read siya, and all are available for free and ibibigay po namin sa inyo yan through our link after our activity. Ang next naman po natin na um, support material ay non-print or ang ating mga videos of practice. So in the next few slides later, we will show you, we will present to you kung ano ba itong mga videos of practice are, are corresponding to the 24 out of the 37 PPSP indicators that we have. And specifically, for SY 2020, 2021, 10 out of the 24 modules po correspond to the 10 RPMS objectives. Pero, disclaimer lang po mga ma'am and sir, for our objective 5, um, ito po ay walang module. Okay, but for the rest of the objectives, we will give you a complete set of these 24 indicators. And then for the following year, for our next school year, tatapusin po natin ito and provide you with all 37 PPSP modules. Ayan, what can you, our teachers, expect to find in each module? Makikita nyo po doon that for each module, it will discuss a specific indicator. It will define key concepts para align ang terminologies natin sa RPMS PPSD. And also, it will provide you with relevant illustrations of practice that may help you understand um, na e experience ng iba pa nating kasama sa ating workforce. The, the teaching practices shown are also suggestive and non-prescriptive. Of course, we also considered na hindi naman po lahat tayo ay nasa pare-parehong sitwasyon or konteksto. So all the materials po, especially dito sa videos, yung mga ipapakita na best practices ng ating teacher are not necessarily a professional engagement. And also, lastly, the video support self support self reflection and provide access to observation of proficient teachers' practice anytime, anywhere. So itong mga videos po, ma'am, and sir, you can download it through our link, and then you can access it anytime, anywhere in the Philippines. And you can even share it po sa inyong mga LAC sessions with your other co-teachers. So ayan po yung dalawa nating PPSD support. Port materials. Um, ito po pa pala, 
for the PTSD videos of practice of a range of teaching strategies that enhance learner achievement in literacy and numeracy. Skills. Video 2, 1.5.2, is about the apply, uh, apply a range of teaching strategies to develop critical and creative thinking as well as Hinga, ayan. <laughs> ayan naman po. So, ayan po ang first three videos natin. Uh, mga ma'am and sir, in particular po for video 2, ang ating 1.5.2, you can actually use it for school year 2020 to 2021. I'm talking to our um, teacher 1 and teacher 3. Itong pong video 2 natin, um, this can be applicable for uh, itong school year na tinutukoy natin, which is the 2020-2021. So, pakinote po yon. And then, ito pong last. Last videos natin, video 4 on 3.1.2 or the use of differentiated developmental uh, videos natin and also similar with video 2, ang ating video 5 din po ay applicable um, for our school year 2020. Twenty twenty one for our teachers one, two, three. Okay, so ayan po ang ating ating mga um, kasamahan sa DepEd. Ngayon naman po, Ma'am Bianks, binigyan mo kami ng tools. Para saan ba to? <laughs> How can na po to kanina when I, um, when I discussed the 24 modules as well as the 5 videos na lahat po nun um, per module and per video, meron yung kaakibat na indicator sa ating standards. And then also, um, through our support materials, teachers can strive and thrive in their teaching practices for your career progression. So of course, Ang ating ang goal po talaga natin is for our beginning teachers. Hopefully, they will go on to the next career stage um, to be proficient and then form proficient, maging highly proficient until ang ating mga HP ay maging distinguished. Ayun po talaga ang pinaka goal natin dito with our professional standards to get um to have um quality teachers serving our nation. And lastly po, the support materials may also encourage creativity and innovation to achieve the targeted uh, the target indicator at a, at the certain level. Like I mentioned kanina, Especially dun sa videos, you will see um, instructors na may kanya-kanya silang way of doing things. So, even though possible po na, even though na hindi siya applicable sa inyong setting, it might, meron naman tayong RPMS, PPSD support. materials. Anong pinagkaibang nun? Siyempre ngayon, dinagdag namin yung RP. PMS. May link. Kanina, PPST lang, focus na on the standards. But now, these um, succeeding set, um, succeeding materials will um, help you understand the link between our RPMS as a system and then ang ating PPST as uh, our standalone document. No? Ayan po, to, so to summarize the next few slides, ito po ang i-expect nyo from us na RPMS PPST support materials. We have one, two, three.
PMS manual. We currently have two versions, the blue one, which is the 2018 version, and the green one, which is the 2019 version. Ngayon, ang aming team ng mga um, kailangan i-amend, kailangan i-amend, same lang po yung information na makukuha nyo. Or kung wala naman kayong blue, pero meron din kayong green manual, that's okay to. Pero kung meron din pala kayong pareho, okay lang din yun. Mas marami pa kayong mapapahiram na RPMS manual sa inyong school or sa inyong office. No? Ayan. Next naman po na ating support material ay ang IPCRF Data Collection and Consolidation Guide. So for 2019, if you remember, ang aming team ay humingi ng inyong mga IPCRF data. And Sir Angelo, Ano nga po ba ang update natin dito sa ating EIPCRF? Ayan, Miss Bianca, meron na tayong ano no, nagather na natin yung IPCRF data yeah. from school year 2019-2020 yeah. and uh, ano no nakakuha tayo I believe ng more than 700,000 na IPCRF data yeah. at ngayon po ay currently no na, nagagather tayo, hinaharvest natin yon at for ano further analysis and uh, That will be ano no those analysis those results na na-analyze ay papadala natin sa mga regions for them to utilize the results of the IPCRF 2019-2020. Yan yung next na kailangan i-look forward ng field from us because we will go down to the regions and capacitate them on how to do the harvesting the analysis po no. Yes. Ayan yung mga next activities namin. Our raters. And you can use this material to deepen your understanding of the PPST indicator. So, so yan mga mom and sirs, lalo na sa ating raters, na katulad ni Sir Lester, available po ito sa ating link mamaya. Ayan, nakangiti na si Sir Les. Hindi niya makita, pero nakikita ko, nakangiti siya. Excite, mukhang excited siya dun sa particular material na yun. So, ito naman po, personnel um, sa DepEd ang nanonood namin show. So, for your information, we also have this facilitator's guide na to me, Um, up, uh, been a vouch ko siya. Wow. <laughs> May recommendation ako dito sa guide. <laughs> At for mga personal na ina-access itong ESAT natin. And lastly, ito dinagdag lang po namin. We consider this as support material for school year 2020-2021 to all 
the regional offices and SDOs for your reference. At syempre, bonus plug na rin po. Ay, shame. Less plug sa akin uh, sa aking bureau. Dahil we are talking about what kind of support we can provide. Um, mag-message sa BHROD Facebook page and someone will reply. Mga ma ma'am and sir, you, um, we were able to to show and explain to you po no, lahat the materials that you need. All the tools and um, na-clear namin yung processes that you need for each phase nitong ating um, RPMS. Sir Angelo, mas ang ating discussion, marami pa kami actually announcement later and na pa kami ipapakilala ng mga ba RPMS manual, our Facilitator's Guide, ano pa? Wait lang. Our supplemental... Kaya, ano, alam ko, uh, naintindihan nila, no, na, na RCTQ, BHROD, and the entire DepEd ay talagang gumawa ng mga support... ...materials na ito para sa... para magamit na ating mga kasamang mga guro para sa pag... ano, no, pag... para sa RPMS of 2020-2021. Ay, sir, naalala ko na ito pa naman yung sinabi. Ano yun? Pa, pa, capacity building for raters para kay Ayun. teacher. Ayun! Mga master teacher. So, mm, memorize ko siya. So, Bakit ko pa naman yan? Yung pala, inihintay mo pala akong sabihin. Hihin, sir. <laughs> Sige po, si Teacher Lesser, baka you can start. Parang, ano sa tingin nyo? Masyado bang marami? Ibig kong sabihin, hindi siya designated lang sa isang phase. But every step of the way, In fact, even in my own practice, no, kapag tayo po ay natatanong kung ano ba yung gagawin dito, for example, sa ISAT, paano siya ipapacilitate, paano yung data collection, hindi rin naman ako muhugot ng sagot sa sarili ko. No? I always refer to, uh, to these supplementary materials. In fact, even sa uh, support materials rather even sa ating mga lack session helpful syempre ginawa yan pinag-isipan at hindi naman natapos yan overnight pero honestly <laughs> sa side ko bilang teacher hindi ko naman po yan nababasa lahat or nagagamit lahat kasi busy rin naman po ang mga teacher. Teachers, di ba? Uh, naiintindihan po natin yan. Pero kapag kailangan lang, 
doon, pwede namin hugutin anytime. At syempre ako, meron akong personal pick up. Uh, favorite dyan. Ang paborito ko, yung, ano, yung classroom observation to the resource package. Kasi yung dalawa na yan yung nagagamit. Pag hindi ko pa rin naintindihan, pupunta ako sa Teacher Ads channel. Ay, hindi ba? Uh-huh. Shout out. <laughs> simula na, simula na. Isa ka yun na singit. Yeah, Support Galing materials ba? na si ano, Teacher Ads Chan. <laughs> Nalulusot ko pa rin. For those. Yes, Teacher Ads. Siguro gusto ko lang balikan yung sinabi ni Teacher Ads. No? Tama naman kasi parang um, whether you're a teacher or you're working sa SDO, ROCO, marami tayong lahat na ginagawa. And actually, yung mga pinesend po natin na support materials, hindi siya kumbaga required ba sa isa-isa. We're not being graded based on kung natapos na ba natin tong basahin or anything. But the point is that the materials are there for your use anytime that you need it. Yun naman po ang um, sa end namin pero hindi marit ang ating mga focals. ang ating mga website, ang ating mga help desk, the tools are there to help you in the meantime. Yes po, Sir Angelo? Yan, Miss Bianca, correct yun. And for sure, ano, no, nagpa-plano na rin ang ating mga school heads, ating mga head teachers, master teachers, no, division and regional personnel on how how they can ano no do follow through a uh, cap- capacity building sessions after this national orientation alam ko pong very red <laughs> parang Sige. parang sina shout out muna siya ngayon <laughs> O kung nasaan man siya ngayon, baka nagpapahinga siya, sir. Sige po, um, teacher Lester and teacher as we're actually done. Uh, si- Sige po, um, sino sa inyo ang gusto sumagot muna? <laughs> bato, bato, pick <laughs> Bato, bato, pick pa. <laughs> Sige, um, teacher ads, gusto mo ba mag-start din? Ah, sige po. Um, siguro tama ka, Ma'am Bianks, kasi hindi naman pwedeng episode 3 uh, lang yung ating pag- ...buhana ng um, reflection. Dapat talaga buo. Kasi hindi naman natin maiintindihan kung hindi natin napanood ng from episode 1.
naman hanggang episode 3. Mahalaga na alam natin yung proseso. Kasi uh, kapag hindi natin na nalaman yung buong site, ay lalong naliwanagan sa purpose ng RPMS. At babalik po ako. doon sa alignment ng RPMS sa PP. PST sa sa isa't isa yung alignment nila. Kasi kung ang pipi uh, ano na sinama niyo kami dito kasi um, in a way na narinig din yung bo- Ayan, thank you teacher as ayun may ano na nakalusot na yung mga shoutouts <laughs> 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 Na, ito na, ito na. Teacher Lester, kayo naman. <laughs> Yeah, ako ay will reserve yung shoutout ko mamaya kasi isang yellow pad ko eh. <laughs> mamaya na lang. May reality. What varies is the kind of impact that we bring in. And I hope uh, lahat tayo na after this three-day orientation. Teacher, as in Teacher Lester, for those wonderful insights. But it was really our pleasure. As in, sobrang saya ko po, sobrang... I'm sure masaya din si Sir Jello at nakasama namin kayo dito sa day event na to. But sa ating mga audience members, wait lang po. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Meron pa po tayong closing, uh, closing program and for sure I you wouldn't want to miss this. Sir Angelo, I think ito na yung ata yung isa pang part ng ating program. Ating mga audience. Ayan. Sige, Miss Bianca, no, basahin ko ngayon ang natitira pa nating lima dun sa ating lima sampu na, na ano, no? uh, lima na lang dun sa ating sampu.
the quality of education in this time of pandemic. So ibig sabihin no na kahit nabanggit na natin to kanina na kahit na meron tayong IO Ilocos Norte hay Ma'am Jean so ang kanyang reflection ay hashtag yes na yes sa RPMS RPMS education to our learners. So ito yung ano no parang magandang definition or description ng ating means of verification. So ano na no inaalis na natin yung ano no parang not so positive connotation ng ating Um, uh, yung pag sinabing MOV, meron agad na ano, no, not so positive na connotation. So, tama dyan si, ano, si Ma'am Beck Regala na this will... Engage our strengths and weaknesses as teachers. And ang ating pangsham ay from Ma'am Rosemary Camba. Again, hashtag yes na yes sa RPMS. I was... Our last from Ma'am Andy Maandal. Yes na yes sa RPMS. It is the matter of accepting changes in education. Uh, may pandemic man o wala. We have to honor our utmost commitment in delivering quality education to our learners. I know that ano, no, this time is very challenging and uh, maybe ano, no, yung ating pagde-deliver nga ng, ano, ng education to our learners ay meron tayong mga nararanasang hurdles pero lahat tayo ay nan dito para sa isa't isa. Wala tayong ma ano no, wala tayong hindi malalampasan kung tayo ay magtutulong-tulong. Talaga tayo, sir. Ayan, so for now uh, Ano no, um Before we end this three-part or three-episode activity, uh, we have a spe special message from our partners from the Philippine National Research Center. On the results-based performance management system to for teachers that have been recalibrated to be more adaptive and responsive to the current When we assisted the HROD in improving the RPMS tools for teachers in 2017, we listened to the tools that are based on the standards, clear, fair, and that address the career continuum of teachers. With the active participation of many teachers and school leaders, We have RPMS tools that are focused on what a teacher is expected to do, to teach. So the improvement of the quality of teaching for
for improved learner performance. On behalf of Of RCTQ, I salute all teachers who work hard. Um, it is my pleasure to introduce to you, no, my director three, so BHROD, to give her closing remarks to officially a commitment to ensure that teachers are equipped with the desired values and competencies that will enable them to contribute. Many Meaningfully to nation building. As what VP uh, Jenny Hoxon said, of PNU said during the Senate committee hearing on bills tackling the opening of the school year amid the COVID 19 pandemic. Sinabi niya, you look into teacher quality, and we have big solutions. If we address the concerns of teachers, if at one table we can face one another, other, and we can all define one definition, what teacher quality means, be it a face-to-face -face learning, be it distance learning, be it all. So for the past three days, our host and our teacher guest were able to recall the basic principles and processes of the results-based performance management system. For teachers and orient you on the agenda. Adjustments made for school year 2020-2021 and or managing the performance of teachers in the time of pandemic. And I would just like to emphasize that the of this adjusted RPMS guideline is also our primary consideration. We're only sharing this with you right now. Now, for we want you to focus first on your welfare. On the processes, the timelines for. for this school year, the adoption of distance learning and alternative strategies in the Department of Education. As all teachers, because we are all teachers. Okay? I'd like to emphasize that. That is because we in the BHRUD are, uh, and even our partners from the other help you do what do you do best. And that is to teach with quality. As teachers, your only job is to teach with quality and shape, shape the minds of our future generations. 
lalo na ngayon. It is our responsibility at the central office level, regional office, SDO, schools, to make sure that you have the necessary tools and support your need in order to make you more effective, whether in the classroom or even behind a computer screen. And it is very evident In the interest that you showed in the last three episodes, we felt ecstatic. Dear teachers, you take teaching and performance quite seriously. Kaya may pag-asa. Opening message. She asks you, how? How will be how will we be will be able to uphold the professional standards and high quality of teaching? We are dealing with a bigger problem. And how will you be able to perform at our best when we are in an unfamiliar classroom? The unknown, right? It is to our learners. Please. Know that in the HROD, it is you. Building, but for us, it has been an opportunity. To think outside the box and use technology. To further reach and support you. Nawa napawi po nam. Online, may pandemia man o wala. My dear teachers, this pandemic may, might have brought doubt and fear. to our nation, but we in DepEd, whether we are in the COR or here, because at some point, somebody did that for us, our teachers. So as one DepEd, life changing education has to continue. Kaya muli, 
I'm now formally closing this. Three day webinar workshop. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Stay safe. natin na yes na yes na na tayo sa three episodes natin. And on the RPMS for school year 2020 and 2021. So, sa ating mga kasamahan dito sa department. Sir Jello, would you like to start? Meron ka bang mga gustong ano? Uh, pasal uh, Napapakinggan ang boses ng ating mga kasama. ang mga guro in the field at sa buong Department of Education. So maraming maraming salamat Teacher Az and Teacher Lester for ating 2 million viewers na nakasama namin kayo for these three days. Ito, Teacher Az, Teacher Lester, it's now your time to shine. Sino po ang gustong ma- o nasa inyong dalawa. Alam ko, narinig ko na kanina ito eh. Yellow pad. Gusto mong pasalamatan. Orientation, RPMS, PPSD orientation. Salamat po to all the teachers all over the Philippines. Siyempre, pasalamatan po natin. Pinapasalamatan ko po ang aming regional director, Director Malcolm S. Garma, our SDS at SDO Las Piñas City, Dr. Joel Tito Recampo, ASDS, Mr. Juan C. Obierna, my principal, Sir Ignacio Elson Jr. at ang buong teaching and non-teaching for Kabuyao Integrated National High School, uh, Kabuyao City. Hello po sa inyong lahat dyan. Uh, Kaingin Elementary School of Santa Rosa City, Laguna. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Ito, sa norte naman, no? Uh, mula... sa Goham National High School SBO Ipugao. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Uh, Esther, 
Hindi naman Wala masyado ako. maraming sa akin. <laughs> uh, ulitin ko lang ang aking uh, mga kasamahang guro. Shout out po sa lahat ng mga taga DepEd uh, Division of Quezon City sa aming SDS, Dr. Janlyn Rosemi Corpus at sa aking principal, Mr. Antonio P. Miranda. Ganun din sa aking mga kasamahang Siguro sa San Antonio Elementary School. At yung mga nagpapabati po na nag-comment dito sa aking post, sa aking page. Uh, Telegrafo Elementary School, Tolosa District. of late division uh, division so on SDS ma'am Esa mababa maraming salamat mat daw po. Sila po ay naliwanagan. Ganon din po sa Division of Tugigaraw City. Maaari po kayong mag-subscribe sa YouTube ni Teacher Ads. Pakihanap lang po ang Teacher Ads. Click the subscribe. Maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood Lahat ng mga non-teaching personnel in the division and also school heads and teachers of the Division of Binyan City. Siyempre, uh, our school, Binyan City Senior High School San Antonio Campus. Uh, magandang magandang uh, gabi. Maraming salamat sa panonood. At after this, ano, three episodes, no, tayo naman ang mag, mag-uusap tungkol sa... RPM SPPST for 2020-2021. Also for that, Ed Calabarzon, our regional director. Sir Willie Cabral and our ARD Ma'am Ruth Fuentes. Uh, also to uh, the big gawain sa human resource and organizational development. And also to RCTQ, maraming maraming salamat and our past team. Hindi nila kami iniwan ni Sir Jen and Sir Kandor. So, kay ni Cecil, kay Chana, Kuya Ren.
Friends, KK, kay Like, kay Ate Fats, thank you, thank you for joining our team. And also, um, thank you din po sa ating mga partners sa RCTQ. Yes. May naka-flash pala sa screen. Sorry, sorry, Sir Manuel. <laughs> Inform ko lang po, so sa mga kasama po po namin um, this evening, ito po ang contact details namin sa BHROD. Ayan po ang aming email. If you have any questions or concerns, especially on human resource, please send us an email dyan po. And then also, if you need the contact details of our partner, the PNURCTQ, ayan po ang kanilang phone number, telefax, website, and email. And last, Lastly po, last reminder sa ating mga manonood, all the materials, the presentations, PH email. And last na po, itong evalu evaluation sheet natin on the RPMS PPST 2020. Also make them available sa ating caption dito sa Facebook. Also, please do not forget to um, um, follow and subscribe to our official DepEd pages. So, Ayan po mga ma'am and sir, i-replay nyo na lang po ang video na Ito, kung may na-miss kayo, but for now, ako po si Bianca. This is um, signing off for tonight, Sir Jello. Ako namin si Teacher Ad and Teacher Lester saying good night. To all of you, dinner. Thank you.